How we doing guys? Big Jer here, and I want to talk today about tuning up your drums. Dance music today is so driven by the drums, I'm not sure why more people don't pay attention to this detail. In my opinion, it just makes your song sound a little more professional. So I'm going to show you how to use Mixed in Key and Ableton to achieve this result. Alright, let's check out what's going on here. Alright, what we got going on here is a little George Michael careless whisper thing. Made a little loop out of it. And uh, as the first thing you can notice is it does have a number and a letter associated with it. Okay, that means I put it into mixed in key. So you can see over here where I drug it into mixed in key and it gets a uh, letter and a number, a tempo, and an energy. And then if you go to this tutorial here, you'll see the Camelot wheel. And then the number refers to, you know, what key it's in and what key will strongly be a good move for your next song if you were DJing. Um, I kind of applied this to my, to my drums. And tuning up my drums. So let me show you what I've done here. I went ahead and uh, if you go into like, like say my Vengeance ones, you can see how they have a number associated with them now. Ones, you got some fours, you got some fives, some nines, some twelves. And that means I drug them into mixed in key and it tuned up my drums. It didn't tune them up, but it told me the key associated with the hit of my, of my instruments. So now check that out. So what I did over here was, I know that these, by looking at by looking at the tutorial, I know that 1A is A flat minor, okay? And I know the George Michael song is a 7, so that's D. So what am I going to do? I know that if I tune this up or down a half step, it'll be perfect with an 8 or a 6. If I go up a half step, it'll take me from A flat to A, and that'll be A minor. And if I go down a half step, it'll take me from A flat to G. So, that, so it looks like I can go up or down with these to, to tune them in to find the right one. So let's take let's take a listen at our drums here with our beat not bad not bad not bad at all but what if we went in and we went and taken our ride and we we tuned everything up a half step okay so I can I can do that by doing everything to my siblings right here so now everything now is tuned up to a and we know by looking at the chart, that A is a strong move from D. Okay, so let's let's take a listen now. Hey. Everything is a lot tighter. Hey. So if I undo that, hey. that's what it sounds like. Hey. Redo it. Hey. Hey. Everything's a lot tighter. Hey. It's only a small, it's a small little detail. But it tunes up your drums and it makes everything sound a lot more crisp. Okay, so how do you make your library look like my library so you could take advantage of this? Well, we obviously know that you could just take a single file and drag it in. Okay, but that's not what we want to do. We want to go over here first to personalize and make sure we switch do not rename files to automatically rename files. Now, you're going to want to switch this right back and you're going to notice we get a warning because it will mess up your library if you leave it on and then you start you know, analyzing songs. Anyway, so what we're going to do now that we have that switched, we're going to go into here, just find a, uh, find a folder that you want to do. Well, these hi-hats will be fine. So I'm going to just grab them all, and you drag them right in. Sometimes, for me, that's, it just says that's too many files to drag in. So I just drag in half, and then I go and get the other half, drag them right in, and we're good. Okay, now over here you'll notice that they're going ahead and um, they're going to get analyzed. And after they're analyzed, look at that, we come right back, and they've all got numbers in front of them. Okay? So now we know what key those hi-hats are in, and we can use them more strategically in our remixes or original productions. Well, that about wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed my little talk on tuning up your drums, and I hope it helps you in your remixes and uh, your productions. All right, guys, Big Jer, happy music making.